Hello my lovely people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, it depends on where you're watching from. Welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Jane. If this is the first time that you are seeing me, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for clicking on the videos. And if you are a return subscriber, I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for supporting. For those of you that have not supported, please reconsider consider supporting me i love you thank you so much i saw this uh this i hope this is not correct too i hope this is not correct uh this credit goes to ikechuku uh okafo he, he made this a uh, he, he got this this look at this this little boy that you were looking at the right up here said a man allegedly packaged his three-year-old son inside a rice bag for sale. According to the post, when he was caught by the police, he said, <laughs> oh God, Jesus, Nigeria. When he was caught by the police, he said he had eight children, but he wanted to sell one to feed the rest of the other ones. They said the man has been arrested. Mm, mm, mm. This guy packaged his, his three-year-old son right here. Right here. According to uh, Ike Chuko Kafo. And this is where they found the, the little child. Right here in the bag. Taking the bag for sale. And when he was caught, he said he had eight children. He want to sell one to use the money from the one that he sold to raise the other seven. So this man already know that he does not have money to raise the children, and he's busy having, having. Because why? As soon as you tell them, I beg, have us, have just take, have two, three, or whatever. Let me tell you, people that can afford to take care of children, they don't have even four. They have one, two, three. It's people like us that don't have, that want to have ten. It's people that, like us, or people that are asking others to help them raise these children. It's the people that will stay home to have ten children. Even here where I am, it's poor people that will sit at home and just have children. Where I am, it's not just in Africa. Where I am, they are the ones that are eating government money. They they are the ones that government are paying for their children it's not only it's not only um uh, at home that this is happening but the only thing different from at home and here if you want have a 100 children and they are hungry that their problem is in your head but here if they have whatever how many children that they have they will go and the government will be giving them money government are the one killing them government are the one making them lazy lazy they don't want to go and work because government is giving them money. This one, government is not giving you money. It is you that will work hard to raise your children. But this man decided that the best thing he could do is to go and sell one of the children. So he can use the money from it to raise the other ones. Huh? When, I, when I think I had it all, well, another one comes out. At least, thank God, he didn't delete this one. This one, we are, we are looking at him. We, we saw him. Thank God for the people that uh, found him. If not, who knows the people? What they are not thinking is, the people that they are selling this to their children, you don't know what they are using your children to do. You don't know if they are using your children for whatever, or deleting your children, or using your children for money ritual. You just want to get, just have that feeling of having that money, that time that you needed it, that is making you guys delete your mother, your father, and including your children. Why didn't you go sell yourself and then tell your wife to follow you so that whoever buys you, their wife can take the money and go raise the children? Why the poor little three-year-old? Why should a three-year-old suffer because of your crime? The three-year-old did not call you to give back to him. The three-year-old was just minding his business where God kept him and you go I brought him out here and you cannot take care of him. The best you could do is to put him in a bag to go and sell him. 
Hey. Mm. This is the reason why uh, all the prayer that they pray in Nigeria, nobody is answering. God is not answering them because they are doing so much evil than good. How can a country that about 60% of the citizens are, are Christians and a lot of evil are happening over there? The things that I see that are coming out from there now is so, so scary. People have turned from human beings now to animals. They behave, animals behave better than human beings over there. Human life is nothing to them. They just throw people, uh, do whatever they want at any time. They just, whatever, whatever. How do you sell a three-year-old? Because you don't have money. Because you want to raise... What are you going to do? Who knows if he has done it before? And the wife of this man agreed. Go and sell one. And so that you can bring money. Because if not, what would a wife... What would you tell your wife when you come back? Where's one of the other child? What would I you? That means you and your wife agreed that you're going to go and sell one of the children. So you can use the money to raise the other ones. That's a shame. Some people don't deserve to have children. Some people, if not because of God that is so merciful that are giving us children regardless of who we are blessing us giving up have having thank god thank you jesus because if giving life or eating or whatever is in the hands of men i will not get a lot of us will not get but because it's in your hand we are getting your mercy is all over the place your mercy is sufficient enough if you work hard even if it's just knocking carnal you will raise these children. You would rather go and let them... I don't understand. Oh, gosh. When I saw this, I could not... Mm. You know, when I see, I let you guys know what's going on. So that's what I saw. Uh, according to Kechuku, uh, Ikechuku Okafo. I said, let me come and let you guys know what is going on. If this person can take his own child to go and sell. If he see your child hanging around anyhow... It will take your own too because you won't have to answer to anybody that's why a lot of children are disappearing at home without anybody saying yeah i have the child or no i don't have the child so be very very careful keep your children it's not like in those days when we were young we were we can just play every family can take care of any child until the mother comes back it's not anymore if you leave your own anyhow somebody else will take that child and that child will be history so my my lovely people so please guide your child with everything you see when when god blesses you with the child it's a huge responsibility and that child's life is in your hand that child's eating is in your hand so do your best to make sure that you protect these children with everything you have if anything happened to that child there is the god, the punishment of it will be in your head so may god give us the wisdom to raise our children right may god give us the wisdom to know that if it's two children we're going to have we have two it's better to have two or three and raise them right than to have a hundred and cannot raise them right god bless you